Hello. So, let's continue our lesson. In the previous tutorial, we have created a form. So, this is our previous code for our form. It is now working to check the last output. So, this is our form with valid validation if email is missing if password is, is missing now what if we would like to save our data for example our email address all throughout the uh, process of browsing the internet or the web so to do that we are going to utilize or use session variables so to see how session variable works and to have a clear understanding i'm going to create a new file i'm going to name it session.php so session variables are important in storing data in our browser so as long as the data is stored in a session variable it will stay there until the user closes the browser so how do we begin or how do we use a session variable we first set this function session start this indicates that we are going to utilize session variables in our PHP code so session start should be placed always on the top of our PHP code and refrain from inserting or mixing it with HTML codes uh, to avoid problems so after declaring that we are starting our session we are now going to set or create a session variable by dollar sign underscore and followed by a word session so for example I will create a session variable named username then I will give it a value which will be equivalent to anything and it and I'll I'm going to echo this one so I'm going to echo my session variable username so let's check our output so don't forget to save so I'm just going to refresh this one and change my URL to form to session so as you see I am successfully echoing out anything in IT which is the value of our session variable now as I've told you before as long as the browser is not closed this data anything in IT will remain at the browser's memory so let's prove it or check how does it work on my session code I will delete I will delete the variable username session username and save it notice that even if it is deleted if I'm going to refresh my code session or my program session.php still anything and IT is not deleted because it is now stored in the browser's memory so that is how session works or session variable works now I've mentioned a while ago even if in other forms or in other uh, forms we could also access the session variable as long as it is the same browser and the browser is not yet closed so for example I'm going back to our form 
and as I've told you earlier if we're going to use session we have to declare or initiate it by typing session start so notice this is another page or another form I'm going to echo again my session variable created on session.php which is already deleted okay so i'm going to save it go to access form.php there you have it if you notice since this is the same browser and I have not yet closed it, still the session username is still saved on the browser's memory. So even in different form, I can also access it. Okay, so what I'm telling is this: the session username is created on this session.php file and it is already deleted. Then, I'm accessing it in another file, which is form.php. And it is proving that, yes, session username is still accessible because it is stored in the browser's memory. So, using a session variable, more efficient or powerful is something like, what if our user has already signed up and we want to store his email into a session variable so that if our user is directed in another page still its email address is present or stored in the browser's memory so to do that I'm going to just uh, comment out this echo session username line then on our form code I'm going to echo out also this echo you have been signed up and I'm going to replace it with a session variable I'm going to replace it with a session variable named session email which is of course equivalent to the client's email address as entered in our form stored in our variable post email so again the user will enter his or email address using the form and it will be saved on the variable post email on this one so I'm going to save that data again in a variable session which is named session email so if the user will email and password will be entered in the database instead of telling that you have been signed up I'm going to redirect him to another page using the function header location so this is the function so if the user will be successfully signed up I will redirect him to another page I'm going to for example redirect him to session.php okay so again if the user will be successfully signed up I will save his email into a session variable and redirect him into another location which is session.php so I'm going to save it then I'm going to my session.php file and I'm going to edit it 
So, I'm just checking if there will be a session variable email. I will just echo you have been signed up else if there will be no session email coming to this uh, page I will just redirect again the user to my form okay so save and let's try if our code is working so I'm just going to refresh it so again I will sign up let's say session testing at gmail.com I will have a password uh, session notice that we are on the form.php once I'll click sign up we should be located or redirected on the session.php so I'm going to click sign up so there we have it session.php and we are now uh, echoing you have been sign up so that is how session variable is utilized but as I've told you if the browser is closed the values of the session variable are also being deleted so question what if we would like to store data in our browser even if the browser will be closed so that will be your assignment to search what if we would like to store our data and it we want that it will not be deleted even if the browser will be closed so see you on the next video tutorial